The Lunar New Year of the Wood Dragon is around the corner on February 10th. Did you know that the change of the Lunar New Year also brings around a shift in energy that can profoundly impact your zodiac animal and the outcome of your year? In this video, I'll be telling you the important things that you need to know about the Wood Dragon and the energy you can look forward to in this Lunar New Year. Keep watching till the end and I'll tell you what mistake you may be making in determining your zodiac animal. I'm Susan Chan, Certified Feng Shui Consultant, helping you create a beautiful and intentional space and a beautiful intentional life. If you want to learn about all things Feng Shui related set in the beautiful city of Paris, subscribe to my channel and click the bell for alerts for when I publish a new video about living an intentional Feng Shui life. When entering a Lunar New Year, there are always two things to think about. The energy of the year coming in and the energy that the incoming year is specifically forecasting for you. 2024's Lunar New Year is the year of the wood dragon. The Lunar New Year always consists of, again, two parts, the element and the animal. The element will always be one of five elements in Chinese metaphysics. And the animal will always be one of the 12 zodiac animals. You can refer to the link in the description below for the chart. We always want to look at the energy of both components to determine the holistic energy of the new year. The element of wood signifies growth. Imagine a plant growing like a bamboo plant, its leaves growing ideally upward, indicating progression, development, and expansion. And the dragon, one of the most powerful and lucky animals in the Chinese zodiac since the time of the emperors, signifies strength, power, and authority. When the dragon year is present, there is potential for prosperity, leadership, and courage. Combined together, the year of the dragon is a year of strong opportunities with a lot of energy that you're going to have to take advantage of them. If you tap into the energy of this year, you can acquire creativity and intelligence, gaining respect like the dragon does, and achievement like the growth in the wood element. As we're all feeling the surge of energy from the wood dragon, competition will be abundant, so be sure that your health and energy are at its peak so you can take advantage of all these opportunities. Do you know what your zodiac animal is? Let me know in the comments. If you don't know, refer to the zodiac chart in the description below. If you're born in January or February, contact me to confirm your zodiac animal because it could be tricky right at the shift of the lunar calendar. Now, everybody always, always asks me, will I have a good or a bad year? And my response always is it depends on you. There'll always be good and not so good energy. It's up to you to focus on the positive and great things in your astrology and life so you won't even have time to notice the not so positive things in your life. With that, that attitude and perspective, you'll always have a great year, every year. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. See you next week.